So I haven't made myself a burger in a long time. And if you want my opinion, which you're getting, smash burgers are the best burgers. So that's what I'm gonna do today. We're gonna do a quick and dirty, super simple smash burger, sauce, cheese, burger, buns. That's it, all right, here we go. Okay, so we're starting off with the sauce. Super simple. Start with mayo. I like Dukes. It's pretty great. We're gonna do some Dijon mustard or whatever mustard, doesn't matter. Oh shit, gross. I like doing almost an equal part mustard to mayo. All right, that's enough. So frustrated. Okay, less ketchup than the other two. Maybe, um, let's see. Eh, eh, let's see, can you see that? About that much. A yay much. We'll add more if we need it, but we probably won't need it. We don't want it to be too sweet. A little Worcestershire sauce for some salt and maltiness. A little more. And some homemade bread and butter pickles, which are gonna be a pain, but it's worth it. Oh my God. Hold on. Probably enough. We'll see, we'll do a little, we'll do like one more. Slice them thin, keep them stacked if you can. Oh, I can't. And then we're gonna just chop them up. Pretty good. And now, mix it all together. Beautiful. And that's it. Cook the burgers, we toast the buns, and we're, we're done. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is toast our buns. We're gonna get some butter in this cast iron skillet, enough to coat both halves or both sides of the bun. Just melt it down. It's, it's relatively low, it's, like le it's a little bit less than medium right now, but it's still heating up. So, low-ish low temperature, you don't wanna sear the buns, you just want to toast them, right? So, there we go, get them in there, toast them up. Let them sit for a minute. With the, with the way the pan works, it's hotter in the middle than it is on the outside, so I tend to spin them or rotate them, you know, throughout the course of their toasting period, toasting time. Ooh, almost done. This one, not so much. A little bit longer, what is that? That's about good. That's what we're going for. Not not charred, just toasted. Just toasted. This one didn't get a whole lot of butter on it. That's okay though. Press it down a little bit. That's good too. Now for the main event, turning it up a little bit. I'm gonna let it heat up a little bit more. What I have is six one sixth pound balls or meatballs, whatever you want to call them. And so the plan is I'm going to do two at a time. Hopefully I can fit two at a time in there. We'll see. And just smash them out as thin as possible. The, the beauty of a smash burger, the value of a smash burger is that you're frying the meat in its own tallow. It's like a self-contained fryer. It adds a crispiness to it and like a, uh, a Maillard effect to it that you don't get with a traditional burger. It's, it's really good, really amazing. Right, let's see what we can do here. One, two. So we're gonna let them sit for a minute and then we're gonna flip them and then smash them. And we flip them so that the burger doesn't stick to the spatula. That's probably good enough. Yeah, that's fine. I right, flip it over. I'm gonna get it a little more center line. We smash it, burn our finger while we do it. And we're trying to like really press it out as thin as we can. R 
ribbon thin is what I've heard. Same deal with this guy. Flip them. So it's a nice crust we got. Look at that. If I could flip it, I'm just gonna pick it up. Go here. See that? It's beautiful. Now we're gonna smash them. The spatula is bending. This thing's a piece of garbage. You see, the burger tallow is frying the burger. We're getting fried burgers today. And you really want to spread it as thin as possible. There we go. And you see, it's like tearing itself apart. That's fine. Don't even worry about that. We just let them sit for a minute. So we let them sit until the juices, like see how this is starting to form? Once that goes all the way through, once we have the juices kind of settled on top, we're gonna flip them. We're gonna throw some cheese on them. Actually, hang on, before we do anything else. Put some salt on here. Salt on here. Do not pepper these while they're frying. It'll burn the pepper, it'll ruin the smash burger. Pepper them after. So here's what we're gonna do. We're not gonna just go crazy with it. We're gonna use some leverage, we're gonna be gentle. We are being very, I'm gentle, trying to keep everything together. Watch this crust though. Oh baby, you see that color? That is delicious. Well, this one go a little bit longer. We're gonna salt this side. That's a lot of salt, I know. We're gonna pepper the one side. That's it. We're gonna take Munster cheese, that's a little thin. I'm gonna do two. Actually, I might just fold it over. Let's see, let's see how this works. I wish you cut them a little thicker, but it's okay. Let's fold it over. And now we're gonna hold on. We're gonna do this guy. Nice and easy. Spin it this way, gotta get the right angle. Kidding me? Look at that. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper right on top. Fold our cheese over. Place it. Let me just let it go. Let it ride for a minute. Turn the stove off. I'm gonna get a lid. So we wanna melt this cheese down. Cover it up. We're gonna take it off the heat too. We're gonna throw it right back here for now. It's gonna finish cooking over there. We have our sauce, we have our bun. This is the bottom bun, this is the top bun, but it doesn't matter, because we're saucing both of them. You don't wanna be stingy with the sauce. That's probably good there. Decent amount up top. Okay, let's plate these things up. I use Munster cheese, these are little, Smaller than I wanted them to be, but it's okay. Oh boy. A little more sauce. Make sure you get some pickles in there. We're gonna cover them up. Smash them down. It's quick and easy. It's delicious. I really wanna bite it right now, but I gotta adjust my camera first so you can see me do it. I'm starving. Here I go. See all that? That is beautiful. Here we go. Oh God. Mmm. Oh. So good. One of my favorite meals. Not good for you, by the way. Good for your soul, not your heart. Mm. I'm gonna do an outro. I'm finishing this first though. Quick and easy smash burgers. So delicious. So unhealthy for you. I don't care. That was amazing. I needed that. It's been a while. One mistake I made, which was nothing to do with the kitchen. I should have asked for a thicker slice of cheese. The cheese was super thin. I had to fold it over. It was kind of weird. It worked out, 
because cheese is cheese, but it's easier if you get a thicker cut of cheese for each patty. All right, you know the drill. Um, thanks for watching, I appreciate it. If you like seeing me cook stuff randomly, please subscribe to my channel, leave a like, whatever, just I'll see you next time.